Hey, yo, this is my dude, Lord Mays from b -more, you heard? Check my archives, put in St. Lad's Lord Mays, you're going to see I got a couple of, I got a few major blazes with the bro, you heard? This is new single that he got out called Half a Man, as you can see, he got all the big DJs and b -more and abroad playing that. The legendary Red Man was in the building on that joint, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all go check out my bro Lord Maze and his new single Half a Man. It's flames. I can't play the song on here because I ain't trying to get sued and kicked off of YouTube and all of that. But take my word for it. It's fire, bro. My bro Lord Maze ain't putting out nothing but fire. And that's a fact. So make sure y'all go check that. The link is in the description. Follow my bro on Instagram too, you heard? We getting it. Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man. S-Y-O Entertainment. That means support your own. Yeah. As soon as I walk up the program, he go to try to put his hand out to give me a five. I just hit him. Boom. Snuff him. What you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you had a fight with a dude over Tupac and Biggie? Like, y'all was arguing over who's the best? I like it started like we was arguing over who was who's the best, but it, it really started it's funny because it, it was my I first I just got to Washington. My, that was the first jail I went to up north. You heard? Mm -hmm. And I, I got the I got the Washington. So my man Al was there and shit. So my man my man my man Al from the BX me we me and him went to 145 together. Um, junior high school. You know, and we played ball and we did a lot of shit together. So as soon as I got there, I seen him. He like, yo, what up, Al? We got the Bronx team. So he introduced me to this dude from from Soundview named Pipe. You heard? So he was like, yo, Pipe part of the um, Bronx team. I'm like, oh, all right, all right. So everything good and everything. So boom. Now me and Pipe, me and my, Pipe, Pipe wound up being my first, my first um workout partner up north and shit. So boom, so you know he was mad diesel and everything. He already, he already was in Washington for like two years. So, you know what I'm saying, or like a year and a half. So he, he been there for a minute. He was on his workout shit. So it says son name is Lead Pipe. Yeah, Lead Pipe. He was down, he was down with Pistol and them niggas. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Now, so boom, so now, so now um. So my man Al introduced me to him because we, we we got a little strong little Bronx mob in there. You heard? Not 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 no not no not not no niggas doing nothing crazy, but we we all on standby. You heard? B bunch of young strong niggas from the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? That we all rolling together because you know how that shit go. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So he introduced me to the dude Pipe. So everything he he want he wound up becoming my my workout partner. So boom. Everything good for the first two months, three months, or whatever. So boom, one day we now we he also we also went floor covering together. We in the vocational together, floor covering, you heard? So boom. Now we in floor covering, we trading war stories. You know how that shit go. You know, you, we building, we trading raw war stories. Yo, what's so crazy is he telling me all about the pistol piece shit and everything. Way before I read about it in Dawn Diva, you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, this shit. But this, this, this is like a year or two before it hit the Dawn Diva and all that. You know what I'm saying? So he telling me about stories. We trading stories and this and that, that and this. So boom, he like I told you, he my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't one thing about him. He get hype about himself. Sometimes when we tell a story, he be getting hype and shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? So boom, one day. So we 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 in, we in floor covering. We we kicking it one day. So so we we talking about Tupac and Biggie. So I always had a, a strong stance on that on that Tupac situation. Like I, I I felt like Tupac was a revolutionary. You know what I'm saying? So he should have never. You know he that, a lot of that shit that happened with him getting robbed or whatever whatever should never happen to him. That's just my stance and look on it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I so I think I think I was with I was with Biggie. I was with Biggie. I was like, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I said, yo, Biggie, Biggie the man right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is, this is exactly, this is nine six. This is nine six summer. So you know, Biggie was on fire at this time. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But, but Tupac was starting, to, Tupac was starting to get on fire too. But I didn't, I wasn't hearing about Tupac. You know, when I left the streets, Biggie was the man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm like, yo, Big, my nigga, Big. I, I said, Big, Big. I, I, so we talking about, I, I, I'm not saying the nigga how he feel about the Big and Tupac shit. So he said, he like, yo, man. He like, yo, I, I, I'm fucking with Pac more than Big. So I'm 
that was cool and all that. I wasn't arguing with him with that. But then he was one of them niggas. He he started getting personal. He like he like yo. He like yo. I, I don't fuck. He like he like me and Pete and us. We saved that nigga big in North Carolina one day. Um, the North Carolina niggas had a nigga in the mall under a table. So and, and, and Pete and us had to come and save the nigga. So I was like, I was like, yo, Pipe, I don't know nothing about you saving big and all. I said, come on, man, with all that, man. He like, yo, man. He like, he like, yo, come on, that, yo, that, yo, L, man. You, you was a little nigga. You was, you was a little nigga in the town, man. <laughs> yo, I, yo, why he say that, B? I said, I said, I said, yo, I said, yo, Pipe. I said, yo, bro. I heard a pistol peep, but I ain't never heard of you. You heard? Know what I'm saying? Yo, that nigga got red in the face. That nigga was like, yo, man, I don't know. Like, yo, man, you crazy, B. Yo, you wouldn't want to meet me up in the street. You wouldn't want to meet me in the street. So I got mad. I jumped up. I jumped up. I said, yo, I said, what, nigga? I'll fuck you up, B. You heard? So the, so, um, the teacher nigga named PJ, old white dude, the, the vocational teacher nigga, P PJ, that nigga said, such and such. He called me by my last name. He said, such and such. Get out. Yeah? I'm like, oh man. So now you know when you get kicked out of program, you got, he didn't send me back to my house. You know, outside of every program, you got the CO with the desk right there. You heard? Mm -hmm. So he, they made, he kicked me out the, out, out the, out the classroom and, 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 and it, it, it was like 15 minutes to go back. You know what I'm saying? So I had to sit. I had to sit right there with the um with the with the CEO and I ain't and to tell you the truth, I, I'm dumb mad because I'm the only one that got kicked out and I don't even know if I'm I'm gonna keep like or he gonna lock me up, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there looking stupid, I'm dumb mad though. I'm like, yo man, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up when I catch him, B. You heard? You know what I'm saying? So boom, they send me back, they send me back early. They like, yo, go back to your house. So I go back to my house. As soon as I get back to the house, I start telling niggas. I'm like, yo, tell all of my niggas. I'm like, yo, B, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up, B, when I get back, when I see this nigga, B. So everybody like, yo, what, what happened and all that? They like, nah. I said, this nigga, I said, we talking about Tupac and Biggie. This nigga gonna start an argument, talking about all this gangster shit. I said, watch what I ain't gonna get me kicked out the program. I said, watch when I see this nigga, B. Watch it. So I see him, I see niggas eavesdropping, cause, cause when I, sometimes when I get mad, like I just get mad. I don't give a fuck who listening, who around, anything. You heard? So I, I was just talking. So it was certain niggas like trying to eavesdrop. Like listen, like damn, what happened with Al at the program? You know what I'm saying? So boom, I ain't say nothing. I, I mean, I, but I was talking to my Pacific people. So boom, they they called Child going out. So I go up to Child. So the dude that introduced me and um, Pipe, he worked at the mess hall. You heard? Mm. So when when I went to the mess hall. I, he he was he, you know how like they be having dudes cleaning off the tables and all that. Yeah. He was already cleaning off the tables and shit. Like cleaning up. You know how the mediums run. They they be cleaning clean niggas be cleaning off the tables while niggas be eating. So I was like, yo yo yo, Al, I'ma fuck your man up, b. So 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 my man Al was like, yo man, you gotta chill, man. L yo L, chill, man. We all from the Bronx, man. Chill, man. He just told. I just seen him. He just told me about the argument. I said, nah, man. Fuck that, man. I'm tired of. Talking greedy, B. I'ma fuck that nigga up, B. You heard? So my man Al shaking his head like, damn, man, my man L crazy, you heard? So boom, so boom, I got up. You know, at the child is, is program. So we went uh, walking the program. So who waiting right in front of program? So soon as I walk up the, soon as I walk up the program, he go to try to put his hand out to give me a five. I just hit him, boom, snuck him, boom, boom, boom. I hit him a few times. Then he just picked me up and slammed me, boom, because he was short and diesel. You heard? So the nigga picked me up and slammed me, boom. Then, then the police was on us. You heard? And then broke it up. You heard? So then I got I got key block and he got not key yeah yeah Q confinement. I got cube confinement, he got cube confinement, you heard? So boom, I went to the hearing, I think they gave me like um, 20 days for the fight, and they gave him like the same thing. And we, we were still in the same program, you heard? So boom, we go, we go, we in program for the first couple of days, we, I wasn't talking to him, he wasn't talking to me, but then like, like around, like around, like, um, like around like third day, 
we just we just start talking to each other and he said sorry and I said sorry to him and, and we did it that shit you heard and, and we continued our relationship like it was nothing but I, I had wound up leaving that jail you heard you know what I'm saying because I went to a, I went to I went to a, I had to wind up leaving that jail and I ain't see him no more you heard and then like like a year and a half later I'm reading the Dawn Diva. I'm seeing him on the pyramid and all that. You heard? I'm like, oh man, this nigga here, man. And I know his whole name because I, I remember his whole name from my ticket and everything. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh man, they got this nigga on a sex money murder period. I'm like, on, on pyramid. I'm like, shit, ugly. But it was funny because of all them stories. I, I was, he was telling me about a lot of them stories way before it even dropped. You know what I'm saying? Worldwide. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, right now, I don't know where he at. I heard he locked up right now. He out in PA locked up. But, um, yeah, man, that nigga Pipe, man. That shit was crazy, man. Fight over Tupac and Biggie, you heard? You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> know what I'm saying? It wasn't over his music. It, it was it, I, like we it started out we was talking over the music but then he, he he started telling me about a personal story about him saving biggie him and pistol saving biggie in north carolina it might be some truth to that story because i think i heard that story before you know what i'm saying so it, i think it was some truth to that story because i biggie used to be in north carolina you heard but it was crazy because he was like yo man he was like, he was like yo you're Man, you're a little nigga in the street, L. And we the same age, me and this nigga. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But he he trying to call me a little nigga because I guess because because of the shit that he into that I'm not into. I'm like nigga, that don't mean shit, nigga. I heard of Pistol Pete, but I ain't never heard of you. Yo, that shit was a classic, B. You had to see that nigga face. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, this is my dude, Lord Mays from B-More, you heard? Check my archives, put in St. Laz, Lord Mays, you're going to see I got a couple of, I got a few major blazes with the bro, you heard? This is new single that he got out called Half a Man. As you can see, he got all the big DJs and B-More and abroad playing that. The legendary Red Man was in the building on that joint. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all go check out my bro Lord Maze and his new single Half a Man. It's flames. I can't play the song on here because I ain't trying to get sued and kicked off of YouTube and all of that. But take my word for it. It's fire, bro. My bro Lord Maze ain't putting out nothing but fire. And that's a fact. So make sure y'all go check that. The link is in the description. Follow my bro on Instagram too, you heard? We getting it. Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man. S-Y-O Entertainment. That means support your own. Yep. Yeah.